Hi there, Shakira Brown, award-winning branding and business communication strategist and professional speaker. And today's tip is on how to make sure that you are not destroying the possibilities of innovation occurring in your organization. Uh, I hear a lot of comments from people who work for medium, even small organizations who say that they share their ideas with the top leaders uh, and they could be ideas that have nothing to do with their own department, uh, but that for the greater good of the organization, they're sharing some ideas that they have and the heads of the company, maybe it's like I said, a medium or small company, are not responding to those ideas. So what is happening? The person is forwarding an email say, with some sort of context, saw this, thought it would be good for the company. Again, this person may not even be someone who has a role in the area in which the idea could be used. And the email goes out and no one on that email who's a leader in the organization is responding. Now, if this sounds like you, if you were getting emails from your employees about ideas to help your organization be more forward thinking, uh, to be more technologically advanced, or to grow in some capacity and you're not responding because maybe you don't have time or maybe you think that the person offering the idea doesn't know what they're talking about, what you're doing is killing innovation in your organization. Plain and simple. You are basically telling that individual, I don't want your ideas when you don't respond or acknowledge that they've sent you an idea. And when you don't follow up on an idea after you've said you'd look at one, that's also telling the individual given the idea that you know it was no good or you didn't appreciate the fact that they went above and beyond out of their normal day-to-day -to, -day to share something that, for, again, for the greater good of the organization. So what you're gonna have to start doing is you're gonna need to be more focused on encouraging ideation to occur when it's naturally happening among your employees. That means you need to have a process in which you respond to the uh, idea, that you look into it. And then of course, a follow-up that you wanna also do is to just get back to that person and say, you know what, I looked into it, but I don't think it's gonna be good for us or we'll look at it another time. But certainly do not just ignore ideas coming from your employees. When I worked in corporate, I had many, many ideas. And I always tell when I'm speaking in front of large groups on innovation across the country, I always say that I always felt there was a shelf with just my ideas on it at the companies that I work for because I was always coming up with ideas and I never heard anything about it. And ultimately what happens, okay, is that people stop to give those ideas, right? They just stop and then that's why innovation is not organically happening at your organization because there's been a roadblock somewhere along the way for people who is actually uh, sharing their ideas and not getting a response. So why would you continue to give up responses, uh, excuse me, ideas uh, when you have no feedback on said idea. So if you're in a, in a role, a leadership role at your organization and you are encouraging people to send you ideas, make sure you're responding to them. Make sure you're looking at these ideas and make sure that you're getting back to the person to let them know what happened, you know, whether or not you're going to move forward, was it something you're going to think about in the future, et cetera, and so on and so forth. So uh, remember that Ideation and innovation is only going to happen if you create the space and infrastructure for it to occur. So be sure to provide that space and infrastructure. Be responsive as a leader to get back to your employees who are sharing their ideas, no matter what. I don't care if they're from the janitorial staff. If they have an idea, that's great. Remember, I, I'm going to just, uh, I believe it was, uh, what was it, Frito-Lay or maybe another company, but I know that I think the, oh no, it was the Cheetos brand, which could be Frito-Lay, I don't know right now, but I know that the, I think that, what is it, the, the hot Cheetos was, came up by somebody who was in the janitorial staff, I believe, at that company, um, and now, you know, and then they gave him credit for coming up with the hot Cheetos. Um, that is something that's an amazing thing uh, to happen at an organization. They listened to somebody who had nothing to do with innovation or product development, and it was became something that's very popular in that brand. So uh, look that up. I do believe it was it was it's something with the hot Cheetos. <laughs> but in any case, that is a great example of how someone outside of product development, outside of their core competencies or whatever that is, 
came up with an idea and the people at the organization who could do something with the idea did something. So take that to heart. Remember to look at and review all ideas from your staff and be sure to provide feedback and tell them where you're going to go with it, if anything at all. But no matter what, make sure you close the loop on it. I hope that helps as you continue to come up with ideas and strategize to grow your businesses and your departments and your organizations. Have at it and take care.